Right, Mick Cropper, it's the 18th of April 2008. Is that what it is, 13th? <coughs> 18th, 18th of April. Is it? it is indeed. But, uh, yeah. So where are you from, Mick? Kirkby, Northfield. Yeah. Nottingham. But moved to Biddulph two years ago in North Staffordshire, where I had a flat belonging to a housing association, Beth Johnson. Nice flat, nice neighbours, very expensive to keep though, and very boring. And rather than nurse a waistline, I thought I'd do something that would keep me fit, active and interesting, and that is living on a boat. Why should the rich hog all the countryside when the poor are desperate to get away from the uh, squalors of cities and towns and enjoy the countryside like they do, and they don't appreciate it. When you look round what they do, the new money that's come on stream, they're building everywhere. Outbuildings, farms converted. They are really making money. And this is a, a sign of the times, that's how things are. So I wanted a piece of this, and here I am. Is, it, is that connected with the fact that you were a lifelong anarchist? Yes, it helps. <laughs> it helps. So what does anarchism mean to you? It means freedom. <coughs> without a licence. Try and uh, treat other people as you would like to be treated yourself. And, and, the en and also your environment, your immediate environment, look after that, which I do. And uh, that's how things uh, are on this canal. I'm not the only one. There are other people that think like me but don't call themselves anarchists. So are there elements of mutual aid between the boat owners Yes, then? there is, yes. Such yeah. as what? Well, putting it crudely, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. They helped me to move this boat because it's, it, it's, there's no engine and gearbox. And I helped them if they wanted dog taking out or or some wood chopping up or something like that. And this is how it works out. Okay, is it a lonely life then or a social life? It would be for some people. It, it can be social. They, they go on each other's boats and... Uh, they tend to share alcohol or other substances, but me, I just prefer the solitariness and that sort of person. And I like to come in with nature, and this is what I do. And I've got a dog, and she likes it, and we enjoy each other's company. And to me, it's what I should have had years ago, years ago, when I was a young person, when I've got more energy. But I've got to be content with what I've got, and I am. How old are you now then, Mick? Seventy. Yeah. You don't look it. Well, that's not hard to say. So, what sort of food do you eat here? Vegan, and what we can scrounge from back of shops in the way of vegetables. The animals' welfare, I've got the job of collecting the vegetable waste, and some of the vegetables is in immaculate condition, apart from a flaw on the skin of the root crops. <coughs> And the greens are okay, if you catch it in time. But we're in competition with the homeless. There's homeless people now beating us to it. Tramps, etc. Which you don't mind. But then again, we need it like they do. Mm -hmm. Are you stuck in this one spot, or have you got plans to move at all? I've got plans to move when I get this uh, reconditioned engine in and gearbox. Which is going to take time. And there will be some expense, but I've saved... A a certain amount of money up that should cover this this work. Are you learning new skills through uh, living here then? New survival skills you might say. Practical uh, ones on the boat I was thinking of. Well there's that but of all us being able to look after that side of myself simple stuff, simple carpentry and plumbing nowadays is simple it's just shoving and electricity beats me I can't master that. You've got a solar panel on the roof what's yes. that for? That, that's uh, four amps an hour if the sun's strong and it trickles down to batteries. There's four batteries, one starter motor battery and three leisure batteries, which I don't need apparently. I only need two. Well, I didn't know that when I had them fitted in. But uh, it's quicker to charge two batteries up than four. So I might dispose of two as time goes on. And it's all about confidence to do these things. Never been over endowed with confidence, but you have to learn as you go along. 
and I think, what the hell, live day to day at 70, you don't expect much. So I live day to day. I even forget what dates are, time and everything. Well, thanks Mick, it's been nice talking yeah, to you. Yeah, you're welcome.